starting down a different path. Graduates of the Adult Drug Court, DWI Court, and Mental Health Court celebrated finishing their programs today. The courts are meant to provide a rehabilitative alternative to jail for people with substance abuse or mental health issues. Garrett Berger went to their commencement ceremony, which takes place amid National Drug Court Month, to hear some of their stories and see their success. Dressed in blue, the graduates of three specialty treatment courts marched into the central jury room. This is my first time in a cap and gown, and actually I'm going to have all my children come and see me, so I'm very excited. For Cecilia Coronado, this is a triumphant moment. Once caught doing drugs in a car with her kids, she says she's now been sober a full year. They really encouraged me to change my life. I'm 37 years old, and I finally changed my life, and it's for the good, and I love it. Some have stumbled along the way. Patrick Zuniga said he was caught using a few times early on, but he wasn't forced out of the adult drug court program. He was able to push forward and now finish up. It made me think that they wanted they wanted what's best for me, just like how your parents are or my parents are. They, they want you to succeed, and that's helped me get through this part. The adult drug court judge says they understand it's impossible to ask for immediate extended abstinence from a true addict. What they do ask for for phase one is to show up and be honest. Because when people are in addiction, you know, they're lying to their family, they're lying to their probation officer, they're lying to their boss, they're lying to everyone, and we have to break that cycle. This ceremony represents the completion of a long journey and the start of a new life. I told the judge I feel like now I'm a, I'm a flower and I'm just ready to bloom and give back. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.